Welcome to the special edition of the Patriot Intel Report. And I have, as I have been telling everyone, my very special guest joining us uh, live from Las Vegas, Brandon Kelly. And Brandon is known as the boss of Bitcoin. He's a crypto trader and he can teach you how to trade Bitcoin like a boss and other things. He has a lot of uh, a lot of information available for you. He is uh, tried, true, and proven. He is an expert in cryptocurrencies and crypto trading. And this is the reason I brought him on. And he comes with high recommendations from someone you may have heard also, Bob Gilpatrick from Boomers, actually knows Brandon. And I'm going to ask Brandon a couple questions about that when we bring him in here. And when will I do that? Oh, that would be right now. Joining us live from Las Vegas. Well, this is a recording, but live when I'm doing it. Brandon Kelly, how's it going, buddy? Pretty good, man. How you doing? Thank you for having me. I am doing okay. You know, um, I was telling everyone about Bob Gilpatrick, and you are members of something, and I had a question about this because I had mentioned that I was going to do an interview with you about the Mastermind program. Um, you know what? Let's cut right to the chase before we get into what you're going to be talking about. What is Mastermind, and uh, how are you involved in Mastermind? Mastermind is an amazing, amazing organization. It's a uh, eclectic group of entrepreneurs from all walks of life. Um, a lot of, uh, you know, heavy hitters in the room. And, and really what it does, it brings people together. Uh, number one, to learn about each other, what we do well, where we need help with. And number two, to uh, offer resources to, to build out everyone's business. It's kind of, it's literally like a board of advisors, except you know, in your own personal circle, you might know, you know, four or five people that you go and refer to. And this organization has about a hundred people uh, from all over the world that, you know, have built their business, have sustained their business, you know, and have dominated their area. Uh, Mike Calhoun uh, is the founder of it and, and really does an amazing job of just bringing people together and make sure everybody is there to help each other, you know, and benefit from uh, the different meetings and events that we have. Yeah, that's very cool. You know, um, Bob has told me about Mastermind for years. Uh, I've never really looked into it, and but occasionally he'll talk to me off the air about Mastermind, the people he met. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me, man. I'm like, really? And he'll tell me about, you know, like some high-level people who are there in oh, yeah. attendance and do things. And, uh, you know, whenever... Um, you know, I found out you're a mastermind and you know Bob and come recommended by Bob. Um, you know, I, I, that actually, dude, that had a lot of uh, cred with it. That's really good. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I was very fortunate uh, to, to learn about the organization. Actually, one of my community members, Chris Dinner, uh, me and him had like a, a crypto conference call to where I was helping him learn how to trade and, you know, going over his portfolio and everything. And that's when he told me about the group because he was a member. Uh, and this guy actually uh, built out a uh, bat mug company and they, they're like the only he has a patent on the product, which is a wooden bat that they basically drill out and turn into like an 18 ounce beer mug. And now <laughs> he's laser engraved it, wood burned it. You know, and selling it at Yankee Stadium and all these different <laughs> baseball parks around the world. Uh, the bad you know, mug. That's, that's brilliant, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, those are the kind of people that you have in this group. Um, you know, just some of the brilliant minds in business. Uh, and it, it's really opened my eyes to, you know, how business works, how to grow. You know, and, and I'm, I'm really excited to uh, move forward, you know, especially in building out Bitcoin and crypto and the different different things that I have going on as well. Very cool. You know, like I had been telling you, we've, we've had some conversations off the air and I've been telling my listeners, um, I've changed platforms a couple times here, but there are many people listening to this right now, Brandon, who will remember the day that I told them about Bitcoin. And I started talking about Bitcoin and I really, you know, I, I, I found out about it and actually discovered it through Cliff High, Cliff High and the yeah. web bots. I, you know, I've talked to Cliff before and, uh, you know, just through email, etc. I've never interviewed him. I've uh, given an invitation before. But anyway, that's another story. He did the web bots. And I had known about Cliff and George Orr back um, pre pre 2000. Uh, I, I actually heard about them. And um, 
what they were doing with, you know, it was all financial program. But anyway, knowing that what uh, uh, Cliff had done with the web bots and the financial, this great success they'd had with this financial computer program, predictive program, when he started yeah. talking about Bitcoin, it caught my attention because I knew that Cliff had been correct in the past. Historical replication, I call it. And I looked into it, I'm like, Boom, we got a winner here. And so I told my listeners it was $42 per one BTC. 42 mm. bucks, dude. And I think right now, let me take a look over at cryptocurrency market capitalization. We're looking at $9,927.60. Yeah, about, <clears throat> about to crack 10,000. About to crack 10,000 BTC. Now, last year I had someone call me and um he said, you know, let's um, <clears throat> let's do the whole let's I, I want to do this something with cryptocurrencies again and get into this. And I told my listeners I was going to do it. But something checked me in my spirit, in my heart, Brandon. I know that you're into the, the energetic side of this because you talk about this with trading, you know, currency is energy and thoughts are energy. And in my heart, even though everybody, including Cliff High of the web bots, was claiming, you know, 50,000 BTC, you know, 40,000, yeah. whatever, these high things, everybody was saying it was going, the cryptos were going to jump. Dude, something in my heart said, no, don't don't do this. And so I actually called my friends and nah, I'm 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 going to bail on this. I'm not doing this. I don't feel it. I don't think it's right. And you know, everybody, you know, went their way and lo and behold last year, eh, wasn't so good. And as a matter of fact, it went the other way and didn't didn't work out right, but something hit me in my spirit, man. I'm like, wow. You know, I think this is it. And looking at the energetics, uh, you know, I, I told my listeners, I said, we're going to be talking about cryptos again. But this time I wanted to bring someone someone on with some uh, um, credentials who, who has a history of it um, to talk about it. Because one of the problems we ran into initially, uh, Brandon, was, uh, man, a lot of our listeners who got into it, put a lot of money into it. And this was back in the day. And uh, I know you know who I'm talking about, uh, Mount Gox and yeah. other places like that. Uh, you know, you had all these trading companies, these uh, platforms that got wiped out, got seized, and people lost all kinds of money. And, uh, you know, I was into, like, mining and all of that, and a bunch of my friends were. And, you know, I, I've never told this story on the air. I told you off the air. I was on the air one night, and my yeah. phone gave me a notification and it says your password has been changed, and I'm like live on the air. I'm like what? And it was it was uh, from a major uh, exchange. I don't want to say it on the air for liability reasons, but dude, they got me. <laughs> they got me. So and wiped me out. So you know, I I know Bob. Uh, one time I was talking to Bob Gilpatrick and. We were talking about, uh, you know, Bitcoin and everything. I told him, I said, yeah, Bob, there are people who listen to me who actually did their own investigation and became multimillionaires. I mean, right. they hit it big whenever with Bitcoin from the information I gave him. He goes, oh, wow. He goes, that's great. He goes, I hope they remember you. I'm like, no, they didn't. <laughs> no. But anyway, you know, they're probably thinking like, yeah, uh, Phoenix, he's rolling. I'm like, yeah, I don't think so. Right. <laughs> because of security. And that's the other thing. I've been telling people security, security, security. Uh, yeah. And anyway, I'm bringing you on uh, to talk to everybody about your website, bossofbitcoin.com, and other connections that you have there. And so I just want to give the floor to you. I want to introduce you to all of our listeners. And again, everybody listening to this, everybody, listen to this. I mean, Brandon knows what he's doing. He's he's a a proven crypto trader, and you can go to a site and check it out. And he has services. So Brandon, without further ado, uh, please, um, yeah. what exactly do you offer, and who is the boss of Bitcoin? Who right. who is Brandon Kelly? I'll tell you that. Uh, thank you for this opportunity. I think you know when I when I started this, it was literally just a, a laptop you know, and some headphones and internet connection. And I and I, I just wanted to get information out. Um, I believe that knowledge is power. Uh, and, and the more informed you are, the more aware you are, especially being self-aware, 
um, the more empowered you will be in this walk of life that we all experience together. Um, at the time, I was I was I had a nice corporate job, a four hundred one k corporate credit card, the Amex. I was gassing about ten thousand dollars a month on, you know, and and I was I thought I was doing big things. I thought I was living good, um, and I was I was watching. I was I was locked into the traditional financial education program of CNBC, Fast Talk, Money, Morning Joe, Squawking on the Street. You know, I literally was glued to the television to try to understand the principles of macroeconomics and fiscal policy to try to make some money uh, by watching TV. And after about uh, two years of of working, you know, uh, from the office and from home and literally watching CNBC almost every day for two years, I learned that they could tell me 15 different ways why I didn't make money yesterday, but not one way how I could make money tomorrow. Right. And yeah. and and that's the problem, because because they always point to something that happened in the past to correlate it to the present. But they never do the inverse to tell you about the future. The future is always unknown. And on that program, it's literally filled with fear, you know, um, uh, scarcity, you know, and, and we don't know what's going to happen, but it might be good. It might be bad. Who knows? You know, and then you got Jim Cramer, you know, smashing buttons, yelling oh, at the man. screen, you <laughs> know, and, and, and it's a comedy at this point. And that's what I realized. It's like, these people aren't in business to make you money, Dude, right? If any, if they're, anything, they're in business to take your money because they're selling you commercials every, every eight and a half minutes. <laughs> Jim Cramer. Uh, let me tell you something about it. I mean, he gives us like really fast, um, you know, disclaimer to front. Basically, what it says, if people don't haven't heard it, he's preloaded. If he's telling you something's great and you should buy it, he's preloaded. He's front loaded on it, and as soon as you buy it, boom, he sells it. Yeah. He's he's right. a professional legal him. legal pumper. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. And so and so ultimately, what I started to do was seek alternative information because I realized CNBC was not helping me, uh, and at the time. Uh, I had a mentor that told me about Bitcoin. Uh, I was making six figures. I was making well over six figures. And I looked at Bitcoin the day it was two hundred and twenty six dollars. I remember this to the number. And I'm trying to run my little Forex traditional technical analysis on it. And I'm like, oh, no, the support's gone. It's dead. You know, it's never coming back to twelve hundred. You know, and, and I started trading stocks on Robinhood <clears throat> during this time. And during the, the two or three months I was trading on Robinhood, you know, uh, getting scammed on there, Bitcoin doubled. You know, I looked up and it's three hundred eighty, four hundred and fifty dollars. And I'm like, I could have done and I lost like two thousand dollars on Robinhood, you know, just messing around, not knowing what I was doing. And, and that's when I really started to relearn. Well, what is it that Bitcoin offer that these stocks don't offer? You know, and uh, a lot of people like Cliff High. Uh, helped out a lot in, in uh, the data analysis part and, and really taking a look at the macro policies and understanding that uh, the dollar is actually a declining empire, a, a, psych, uh, a psychological tool. It's really not an instrument of value. It has no value. It's merely a tool uh, used to commoditize and control the masses. Uh, Mike Maloney, uh, helped out a lot with this principle and understanding uh, that we are indeed on the cusp of the greatest transformation of wealth in the history of humanity. Uh, he has a very, very, very good series on YouTube called The Hidden Secrets of Money. Uh, I recommend that all of your listeners check that out just to understand what money is and how it works. Not necessarily money, but what the dollar is and how the dollar works in this centralized Federal Reserve uh, fiat system that we live under. And, and in doing that, I also started to learn about blockchain technology. I read Satoshi's white paper, you know, and, and as a, my background, formal background is in civil engineering from the University of Wisconsin. So, I, so I, you know, I've read engineering papers all the time, i.e. white papers. And, and so I understood, you know, the beauty and the simplicity of what Satoshi designed, uh, the initial concept. Um, basically a seamless, trustless data transfer system. And, and it just so happens that we live in a world where data is money is, you know, we assign financial values to, to zeros and ones in the Internet. Yeah. Right? 
And, and, and that's all Bitcoin does is it protects those zeros and ones better than anything, better than Visa, better than MasterCard, better than Discover, better than American Express, better than Barclays, better than anybody. I knew this firsthand because at the bank I was working at at the time, I learned that we gave away, gave away four billion dollars a year. We could not protect our own money. Oh, right? yeah. Dude, the SWIFT system that the uh, banking system works off of, I don't know how many times we hear, we've we seen, if you're observant, stories of uh, hundreds of millions uh, of dollars in SWIFT transfers being stolen and they don't right. know where it went to. What do you mean oh. you don't know where it went to? Dude, it's electronic. You, you can't follow where it went and you don't right. know where it is. Blockchain overcomes all of that. Yes. Yeah, it's unbreakable. Um, the way the way the way the current system is set up is that the the masses, the bottom ninety nine percent, essentially, and it's even you know uh, less than that. It's about ninety percent work to support the top ten percent, right? And so you can just imagine like a little pyramid. Everybody's seen that pyramid on the back of your dollar. That's how the system is designed to work right now. However, blockchain technology actually flips that system upside down to where a few members create and these are the miners the bitcoin miners create all the value to where once by the time that bitcoin is distributed into the economy the masses receive the most value for it a miner really doesn't receive any value he's you know locked in his equipment he has his infrastructure costs he he just gets his money up front he's the first one to get paid but by the time it circulates through and the transactions gets confirmed and more people use it and the transactions get confirmed and more people use it and the transaction gets to confirm it's literally up the top of that pyramid and that's where the value goes to the masses um and because it's a finite system people need to understand the difference between a finite system and an infinite system uh bitcoin is a finite system they're only about probably when it's all said and done it's probably only going to be about 14 million bitcoin in circulation forever yeah, I can right. see that. They originally said it was going to be Shatoshian's white paper, twenty-five million, but there has been a lot lost. Um, right. I know personally, and I mean, we right. read stories about people who have on the hard drive, they lose their password or whatever. It's thrown into the dumpster. You know, people lose yeah. Bitcoin, and in, initially, a lot of the Bitcoin that was out there in circulation. Literally, it belonged to kids who were doing gaming and they didn't care about it. And so, yeah, a lot. I, I can see that number being that low, which increases the potential value of it. Exactly. Exactly. And, um, you know, I believe ultimately society is going to be has the opportunity to benefit from this transformation. Everything is going digital. But the problem is that the digital infrastructure set up right now is not protected they can't protect the money. So we need a new form of money and blockchain technology is the answer. Um, I believe inside the next 10 or 20 years, every dollar will be encrypted and backed on the blockchain. And because Bitcoin is the bridge from the dollar to the blockchain, Bitcoin will be the biggest beneficiary uh, of that inevitable transfer. Now, I know one of the questions that all my listeners have because, you know, Bitcoin's up there, man. I mean, it's, it's not cheap. Let me refresh uh, my my uh, page here and check. Yeah, we're looking at $9,937.73. And people yeah. say, like, what the heck? I can't about afford one of those. Right now. But, yeah, it's all <laughs> fractionals. You know, it breaks down and you have the fractionals called Satoshis. Um, right. <clears throat> which is an entry thing. Now, a lot of my listeners have asked me about Ethereum, uh, XRP, Litecoin, and all these different things. Litecoin, wow, look at this, 138.41. Real, real I'm, quick, Phoenix, one thing we need to touch on is the concept of value, right? What is expensive? What is cheap? Um, this, is how I, this is how I correlate it out. Uh, when the reason... You know, and I call him, I don't refer to him by name, but the reason King Bobblehead is in office, the orange one, is because his grandfather made millions of dollars in real estate. Uh, when his grandfather was of age and building his uh, empire, he could go downtown New York and buy one acre of land for $10,000. And that's what he did. He bought land, bought it cash, and owned it all the way through. Uh, today in downtown New York, you can't even buy a one bedroom apartment for a million dollars. And so that shows you the appreciation of that asset. 
uh, to where $10,000 over the better part of uh, 70 years can be broken down and sold. And now one square unit, one fraction of a unit of one building on one acre is a million dollars. This is essentially what Bitcoin has done over the past 10 years and what it will continue to do as the world adopts blockchain technology. So, yes, today, Bitcoin is ten thousand dollars. However, three months ago, it was it was it was below four thousand dollars. Right. And, and I think that volatility in itself is the opportunity. But yet and still, I think ten thousand dollars for the best financial vehicle ever created in the history of humanity is extremely cheap because you got cars on four wheels driving on the road right now. You can't get a new Mercedes Benz for $10,000 and that's not even the best mm -hmm. car out there. True, very true, good good analogy, uh, Brandon. Now, you know, a lot of our, our listeners wonder about alts and different, uh, you know, alternative currencies. Now, why don't you, uh, tell everyone exactly about your services, who you are. Uh, we know who you are, but what you do, if someone were to contact you and um, everyone, I encourage everyone to go over to the site, uh, the Bitcoin and check it out. And you can contact Brandon and also click on you scroll down. There's all kinds of information there. You can see his YouTube videos. He puts out a lot of information on YouTube. Um, are there other services and other opportunities other than Bitcoin itself? Um, you know, ex explain to everyone how this works and, and the altcoins and how this all ties in because everything basically, dude, it, it runs off the back of Bitcoin. Bitcoin's the mainstream and all, everything else follows Bitcoin. Yeah, the way, I, the, way I, the way I view it, Bitcoin is the sun, right? And so in our world, everything receives energy from the sun. You can't get away from it. And Bitcoin is the son of the blockchain. It Ooh, literally stop right, stop right there. I, I need to say something. Today, as we're recording this, this is Friday, June 21st. It's the solstice. So the power of the sun and the energy of the sun at the galactic center, dude, you nailed it. <laughs> yeah. so I, I said to throw that in there. Please continue. That's awesome. I didn't even think about that. But yeah, it's like it's already written, man. And and. And so Bitcoin birthed the blockchain and, and all of the children, you know, the new seeds uh, uh, that come are inevitably tied to Bitcoin. They're, um, you know, not mutually exhaustive. They, they're codependent on each other. And so you have about a thousand new technologies and concepts and ideas and processes, you know, that have been uh, built on the blockchain. However, it all goes back to BTC because Bitcoin is the bridge to the dollar and there will be a flood of money coming across that bridge uh, in the very near future. Um, and so the, the services I offer, number one is information. Um, and I do this for free. This is accessible on my YouTube channel, uh, Brandon Kelly Crypto Trader. Uh, as I said, I have about 400 videos on there. I started about two years ago. Um, and, and I just wanted to get this knowledge out to people. I dedicated the better part of 15 years understanding what money was. Uh, I bought my first stock when I was in high school. I bought Disney at like $26 uh, back in 2001. Um, and, I, and I just stayed in the markets ever since. I, I learned how to navigate uh, the current of currency. Uh, and that's essentially to correlate it to water and understand the principles of water. Um, but but going back to, to the website, I also have different communities on there. And again, this is free as well. I, I believe that people uh, are intrinsically designed to come together to help each other. And if I know something and take it to my grave and never tell anybody, then I never would have I, I never should have known that at all. Right. So some of the knowledge that I've learned, I disseminate into these groups. Uh, we have about twenty five thousand members in our uh, Facebook group. This is one hundred percent completely free. I don't make a dime. Facebook does. They don't give me anything. Um, but it's called the number one Bitcoin group in the world. Uh, hashtag one Bitcoin. Uh, come on in. The doors are always open. And it's literally people helping people you know, bringing people together. Uh, we have community members from literally like a hundred different countries, you know, people that have learned my methodology, understand the technical analysis, and they're in there posting charts. They're in there helping each other. You know, hey, check this out. Check this out. Look at this. Look at this. You know, and so you literally have eyes on the market 
24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, and, and I think that's very beneficial. So you don't have to dedicate your day uh, to learning your method on how to make money. It's, it's literally we, 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 we bring people together and together we can all make money because together uh, we have none of the money. And this is the problem with the current system. This is what, but this is the opportunity. The problem, the opportunity problem is that people are broke. People are still trading their time for a worthless piece of paper in that equation. They will always lose. They will never have enough time because they will always die. But what we're doing in this community is we're bringing people together to uh, exchange resources, availability for equity in a network, right? Bitcoin is a equitable network. It's not necessarily currency. It's a network that to which you can uh, retain equity in, right? And if you understand the uh, concepts of Robert Kiyosaki, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, you always want to have equity. You don't necessarily care about compensation, about dollars, about getting paid for your time. You'll lose that battle nine out of 10 times, right? Um, and, and so we have the two communities. Biggest one is number one Facebook group in the world. The other one is my YouTube channel, Brandon Kelly Crypto Trader. And then also on bossofbitcoin.com, you will see some of the paid services. You know, and I recommend people to actually make some money in the market, watch my videos, understand, get comfortable, uh, not only making money, but also losing money because that's another part of it. Um, I've made a lot of money. I've lost a lot of money. And then by losing money, I've learned how not to lose money. You know, so in this in this crazy world of crypto, it's like you have to be comfortable with both, uh, but also <clears throat> understand that the methodology that I use, I actually have uh, patent pending on this whole process on the engine of the machine is uh, it works because uh, it's a numerical system. Um, it can't, it, it's similar to Bitcoin and it can't be broken. I live in Las Vegas, Nevada right now. One of the reasons I moved here is because this is what this is the concept that I built uh, my numerology off of. Uh, it's called the boss method. And it's very, very simple. Uh, it's three simple moving averages. And the first two are a seven and a 77. And the reason I chose those two is because the first one is a seven. If you go to Las Vegas, go to any casino, go to that crap table, the house always gets paid on 7 and 11. So I take the first one, which is a 7, I multiply that by 11, which is at 77. You use those two as your simple moving averages. When the 7 goes above, you buy. When the 7 goes below, you sell. You make money 80% of the time. You will win over time. It's it's unbreakable. Wow. It's simple technology. Dude, that, that's incredible. You know, um, one thing I want to point out to all of our listeners, people who heard me years ago when I was talking about Bitcoin when it was $42 per one BTC, <laughs> is that the community that he has put together, that he's talking about, this, uh, not only they talk about uh, opportunities, but dangers. Dangers also. As a matter of fact, I was watching uh, Brandon's uh, YouTube video from today, and he's been warning people about certain traders, certain different systems, and you have the advantage of not only getting tips and learning what's hot, but you also get a heads up. And that's something we didn't have years ago whenever, you know, I got my, my infamous uh, text message during a, a, a broadcast and my friends who, who got hit. Not everybody. I mean, some, a lot of people did very well, but a lot of people got hit hard because this was kind of like the Wild West and nobody really knew. Uh, Brandon's groups that he's talking about, and that you can find by the links. And these links will be in the description box of this video, by the way. You know, this is a heads up to it's a safety net. It's a community that on, not only helps you with tips and all kinds of positive things, but also alerts you to the dangers. And that's what I'm concerned about is, is providing safety for my listeners and people who hear this information. And again, let me throw this out here, and I know Brandon will appreciate this. This isn't financial advice. This is information we're putting out there that you can do your own due diligence and learn and and with your own intent, make it happen. But anyway, um, Brandon, what else do you want to share with us? We we have a few more minutes here. What, what, what would you like to sh share, man? I think I think one of the things that uh, initially, you know, the universe attracted me to you with is the concept of uh, energy and manifesting and, you know, understanding that. You know, the world we live in right now is not the only world that exists. Uh, and we don't even understand this world, right? 
Um, and that's that. Those are kind of the concepts that I try to enlighten people on uh, through my videos. Yes, we all want more money, but at the end of the day, what are we using that money for? Right? Money is not an ends to a means. It's nearly a piece of paper. It's merely a conduit. Uh, what you purchase with that money, what you trade it for, is actually your manifested yield. Money is the tokenized. Uh, iconography that we use to actually receive what it is we actually manifest it, what we have created through uh, the universe. So understand that energy uh, is is effervescent, right? Um, and and you don't need money to receive this energy. Um, and 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 these are some of the concepts that I talk about about how your mind creates your world, right? Um, and it's a sad day and time that we have so many broken and entrapped minds. The, that's what we see in the world. Right. But once you understand that you can literally have anything you desire, uh, as long as you put forth the energy to receive it, then the universe will create it for you. And I do in my heart uh, to the bottom of my soul believe blockchain technology is one of the steps forward in making that possible because it is a much better system than the status quo. It delivers it delivers much more value uh, to everyone, all of the recipients in the uh, economy than that of the dollar, which is solely based on debt, death and destruction. Um, and, and, and if we can get away from that, if we can understand, if we can start to learn again, if we can start to talk to each other again, if we can start, start to experience together again, I think we all will be much better off and we'll all see that we really don't need money at all. Uh, it's literally people just doing what they like to do, uh, to get what they like, uh, from, from the community around them. You know, and it's just this transfer process. And this is what Cliff High actually talked about in his earlier days when he was describing Ripple uh, and the initial concept of Ripple. Uh, it really wasn't to create some new banknote to replace the swift economy. It was to create a cleaner uh, version of transactions between community members, right, uh, on a balanced ledger. Um, that's the concept. That's the idea. Like Mike, Mike buys apples from Bob. Bob, you know, goes and use these apples and, you know, takes his wife out to dinner something like that. You know, it's like a, a balanced ledger, but it's just everybody interacting and exchanging together to create, you know, their own individualized manifested yield. Um, and so I know that kind of jumped off a tangent, but these oh. are, and, and, but to be honest, this is the principle. These are the principles that I use to design my algorithm. Mm -hmm. uh, and I am coming out with a trading platform uh, later this year. So that's definitely something to look forward to um, that will facilitate the process of making money on the blockchain. It will use not only my proprietary uh, trading algorithm, but also um, a community that where people will be able to come together um, and make money together um, because this is the opportunity. As long as the banks have all the money, then people have all the power because technically you can't have both of them. People think that money is power. It's not. Power is choice. And mm -hmm. this is what the boss method does better than anything out there. You choose when you want to put your money on the table and you choose when you want to cash out. Mm -hmm. We've been brainwashed to think that we should accept 8% yield a year on some, you know, uh, Intra or some uh, index fund, you know, with Apple, Amazon, Google, you know, when we don't even know inflation could be 15% where we're living. Mm hmm. Very true. You know, Brandon, um, <clears throat> we're kind of running out of time here, but, you know, th I want to thank you so much for coming on. And but I want to touch upon something you just said, the entire esoteric level, the energetic level of the blockchain, the building blocks of reality, the building blocks of making your life what you want it to be. It's not about money, people. It's about your life. It's what you can do. But what is happening here is there's an opportunity coming up that uh, you can actually break away from the banking system and what they tell you, like Brandon's been explaining to you, and uh, through the energetics of the blockchain 
actually have a tool to create your own reality in 3D. Now, the details of that and how to do it, again, Brandon, tell everyone, tell everyone how to reach you and all your different sites and yeah. um, how to contact you. Yeah, the, the, the easiest way is just to go on uh, bossabitcoin.com. Uh, and you, it's literally a one page website. You can scroll down and see all the different communities we have. Uh, you can message me on Facebook. I'm Brandon Kelly on there. Um, or you can shoot me an email. Uh, my email address, I'll give it to your listeners, is B as in boy, K as in Kelly, Bitcoin01 at gmail.com. I want to make myself accessible. You know, I, I've, I've literally changed my life uh, through taking the time to learn what money is and, and learn what Bitcoin is and learn what blockchain technology is. I, I'm an open door uh, for resources. Um, you know, so if, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, and I'm and I'm always accessible. You know, I'm in the Facebook group every day. Uh, I also have uh, private uh, Telegram groups for trading. And these are through the different uh, products on the website. But I literally have a group with the best. And I've been doing this for a couple years now. But the best crypto traders in the world are in this one group that I've that I've curated. Um, and again, this is 24 hours a day. It's literally an app you down on your on your phone on Telegram. And we're we're giving out charts, information, trends, you know, every day of the week. So it's just really cool, you know, the opportunity to bring people together to create a better uh, paradigm, because the one that we live in right now uh, is not of the people, for the people, by the people. If anything, it's it's everything uh, against that. Right. So it's it's time to create a new reality. uh, And blockchain technology is definitely uh, a partition on on the on the on the uh, process. Wow, so true. And uh, again, everybody, be sure and and link up with Brandon because there's more to this story. I can't <laughs> I can't tell you right now, but you're going to hear from Indeed. Brandon again. <laughs> we've, we've been talking. It's a, lot, it's a lot going on behind the curtain. Oh right? yeah, there's a lot going on. And again. You know, just like the last year when I said, no, this isn't the time to say it. And I said today in today's uh, Intel report, now's the time. Now's the time. Now is the time for all of us to break free from all of this and give opportunity to everyone. And that opportunity is there. And there's going to be more opportunity made available to everyone. But to cash in on that opportunity or make that opportunity available to you link up with brandon you know click those links it'll be in my description box here at the bottom of this video and i don't want to keep you too long because i know you're a really busy guy because you're like the boss of bitcoin and, and the boss he's got to be doing something all the time <laughs> <laughs> right but that's the thing i learned to work smarter not harder you know? More, oh yeah <laughs> scrooge mcduck baby <laughs> work smarter not harder <laughs> so true you know Brandon, I want to thank you, sir, for coming on today. I appreciate it so much. And again, you came highly recommended to me by Bob Gilpatrick, who's an extremely brilliant, uh, highly respected businessman. And he's like, yeah, I've listened to Brandon's presentations. Uh, he works with you. And, uh, dude, you came, you came with high, um, uh, high credentials from some people I highly respect. And I appreciate that. And that's why I'm bringing you to my listeners, because I, I am doing the greatest attempt to vet people who are my guests and um i appreciate it man i really do thank you i I appreciate you know just the opportunity to be able to have this conversation um but i'll close on this i think that's the biggest opportunity we all have is to actually come together um you know if you turn on the television the bobbleheads on tv will figure out 20 different labels to put on you to divide you from me but not one that brings us together uh well i'll tell you one it's human uh we are all painted in the hue of man and as long as we understand that as long as we you know uh, reach out to each other talk to each other hug each other love each other you know share ideas together pains tribulations successes you know that's all i'm trying to do is just create a community of humans that are empowered and then we can uh, create a new future together yeah i agree 100 percent. and um you know 
I know it is a very noble cause and it's doable and we're doing it right now, people. This is happening. So anyway, Brandon, thank you so much, man. Uh, so this has been fun. Um, and I know my listeners have enjoyed this and I encourage everyone again to go to the description box of this video and click on those links so you can link up with Brandon and get more information. And again, Brandon, I know you will. I know my heart and that you will be a return guest on this program. And um, probably the next time you come back, you may have some some uh, pretty exciting stuff to tell everyone. So yeah, man. next time we got to do an hour. This was quick. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we're running up like 40 minutes now. Yeah, we'll do an hour next time uh, because I think we'll probably have much more to talk about. But if you want to know everyone where this is heading, link up with Brandon. So anyway, dude, I appreciate it. It's been fun and um, educational and energetic. Very cool. Thank you, sir. All righty. So, everyone, that was Brandon Kelly, the boss of Bitcoin. Be sure and click those links below. And like always, until we speak again, be well, stay alert, and remember where we go one, we go all. God bless. <laughs>